everybody send me these uh send me these conspiracy things about agenda 401 or the Bill Gates thing or whatever it's like guys if they did it if they released the virus we, then it's like if they're willing to do that what I mean what do you oh, do you even want to know mm. at that point just buy some heroin and get ready to meet what's on the other end of this I mean guys at a certain point what what is uncovering the truth even fucking do for you I don't personally believe they did this because I think they want to they would rather us making money at our shit jobs and sitting in in the house while the world economy collapses. But if they did, and this is some way to wipe the slate clean, and they're willing to do this, well, then what the fuck? I mean, at a certain point, you got to fucking roll over, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. If Bill Gates released this virus, I mean, what are you going to do? You know? What are you gonna do? Tweet about it? I mean, what, you know, at that point, what, do you have a militia? You ready to go? What you got a few guns in the back? You shoot at your tree in Georgia? I mean, I don't know. If if these people really did that, then I tend to believe there was probably some accident. It's probably a Chinese bioweapon. It probably leaked out of that lab in Wuhan. I don't know how it did. Maybe they, they were selling bats. Maybe they're selling animals that they experimented on. That seems the most probable thing. Is it weird that it happened during the Hong Kong protest? Yes. But I also think that, you know, potentially, you know, China didn't have any problem shooting tear gas at those protesters. Mm -hmm. China didn't have any issue doing that. So, I mean, is it is it impossible to say that they released it to get rid of the? No, but I don't know that they did. You know, it could have happened... You know, and again, did China release this to just say, fuck it, let's see what happens? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. But what, so as, as Ray Kump said, I was talking to him today, it's like, so what's the plan? Go to the beach? Like, what are we all supposed to do? Infect everybody that we know? Is that the move? Even if we know it's a bioweapon, is the move to just go out and all get sick and that a lot of people die? That doesn't seem logical. Well, it's a bioweapon from China. So what? You still have to protect yourself, your family, to a degree. You have to be ethical, you know? I have a friend that was going to fly to New York to visit his girlfriend. I'm like, are you out of your fucking mind? Dude, what are you doing? This is the stand. A Stephen King miniseries on TV that my father allowed me to watch because he allowed me to watch most things in the 90s. That was his style of parenting. He said, if you want to watch it, you can watch it. The movie Seven, sure. Not a problem. Whatever you want to watch. You want to watch Dead Man Walking? You want to see uh, Sean Penn get lethal injection? What are you, Seven? You'll enjoy this. Come on. It's playing up the block. I don't want to pay for a babysitter. I want to go watch Casino. You ever seen someone get buried alive? <laughs> You're about to. Handle it. Handle it like a man. That's a great thing about boomers who had, who had one kid. The only kid houses. We would go out with our parents to dinner with their friends. You know? And their friends would talk about things that were inappropriate for us to hear. But it, 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 it is what it is. If you have two kids or three kids, you get a babysitter. Or maybe the older kid will watch the younger kids. In my house, it was like, that. my son's coming. Don't censor yourself. My son's coming. Talk freely about wanting to kill your wife. Talk freely about it. My son's there. He's nine. He'll think it's hilarious. And I did. Talk freely about it. Get hammered in front of him. Talk about it. Talk about the drugs you do. He won't mind. He'll be doing them soon. He'll be doing them within two or three years. Get him ready. Let him know. Let him know you were coked out of your mind the other night and you thought about pushing your wife out of the attic window. That's something the guy really said. I was sitting there, I was like 11. He goes, you know, I, I look at my wife sometimes, I go, I want to just push her out of the attic window. He goes, who would know? The whole table of guys, just red wine, <laughs> laughing. It's great. We're great memories. I, 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 I appreciate the way I grew up. That was a great style of parenting. It's getting real now on Long Island, for, even for people that didn't really grasp, the, because in the beginning, the outlook on this on Long Island was, will you shut the fuck up? That's how it was handled. Yeah. Shut up. People had to sit down with their parents and go, you can't golf. 
you can't go golfing. You can't go, you can't have, you know, you can't go to Maria's baby shower. You can't. And you, they'd have to explain it. And they'd go, so what? Nobody's sick. You know? And now it's those, see those, those, those statuses, they're getting, they're get, those people are going quiet now. They go, because some of them are dead. But they're going, they're getting a little quiet. Like, the, it's just a flu status. See, that's where I never make these stupid predict. Like, I never go out there and I, I don't take these hard stances when I don't know something. Because I've learned that you, could, you only have to walk it back. So if I'd come out and was like, it's just the flu, it's all fake, the fucking duh. I mean, we drove by Cedar Sinai one night. There weren't a lot of people there. It would have been easy for me to come on and be like, duh, we fucking drove by Cedars. There was no one there. This thing's fake. Um, and then now I would have to be like, well, um, looking at numbers and, uh, you know, uh, you got to walk it back. So, you know, people are going to get real quiet. You know, they're getting a little quiet because in the beginning it was this was, you remember that this was a, a, a liberal, this was liberal hysteria to, to wreck the economy so Trump would, would get voted out of office. This was, the, this was what I heard from my people on Long Island. And this was hysteria. Uh, somebody I knew wrote, they're closing the country down because of sniffles. And Long Island loves World War II memes. They'll be like, this is the greatest generation. And then, and then they'll show, like, somebody blowing their nose and be like, this generation closed the country down for sniffles. And the funny thing about that is the people that shared those memes were never in the military. They never served in the military. Okay? And they love World War II. Although they probably did nothing for their grandparents that served in World War II other than rob them. <laughs> the only thing they did for the greatest generation was take money off their mantle. Okay? So, but they love those World War II memes that are like, this, you know, we're pussies now. Goddamn pussies. This flu sniffles. There's still, and then, now there's still people doing that, by the way. There's still people that are going, you know, there's still people with the, the mortality rate and the death toll, and that's all going to stop because it's, it's coming. And most people, there will be some people that don't care. There will be people on ventilators right before they go out you know, you know, before they're in a coma, there'll be people going, so what? This is not, I mean, it's just, Trump 2020 will be the last thing certain people say on Long Island. Trump 2020. <laughs> That'll be it. Because to, cause they'd rather just, you know, drown in their own lungs than unravel their worldview, you know?